Hello! Hold up, let's scoot up. <laughs> Hello, people. Welcome back to the Silent Hill for the Room playthrough. I am your host, Chad Marco, and the journey continues. Okay, how am I doing? Ugh, revolver, ammo. I'm gonna save some of that. So, last episode, I was wandering around the apartment stage. I ended up having to leave Aileen because there wasn't a save anywhere nearby, so. Yeah. As far as I know. Could have been one, like, right down there, but fuck it. I wasn't taking that risk, and my headphones were going dead, so I just took a short minute to let them charge up bad thing about it, I gotta run all the way back down to where she's at. Hopefully she hasn't lost her goddamn mind. Okay, Cynthia should be here. Not a problem. And I think I go through here. in here but wait a minute what's up here though because I never checked this area oh I see Anything important here? Oh boy. So there were things up here. Damn, I should have just went ahead and came in here. Is that Walter? Oh, fuck! You! Okay. <laughs> that burp never gets old. Why the burp? Man, they make another Silent Hill game. They gotta do the fart. This is Aileen's blood. So this is her apartment. Oh, I finally get to smell her dirty panties. <laughs> that was a joke, guys. <laughs> I don't, man, I don't know if I could ever get into panty sniffing. That's... Like, why would I want to smell somebody's shitty drawers? <laughs> Damn, he fucked that bitch up. I ain't trying to smell no bitch drawers. Maybe I'll understand if I ever get some pussy. I gotta go up there, too, because they got revolver bullets. Wait a minute. That should really unlock. That would make things, things a lot simpler. Wait, is this Cynthia? Or... No, this isn't. Yeah, I, I went the wrong way. Hey, buddy, gotta go. 
Ow, shit. He must like that room for some reason. I think here I go down. Yeah. Yeah, this is where she is. So that must be where the umbilical cord is at. Because he wouldn't want you to get to that. Alright, she's safe and sound. She won't follow me though. Well, if there's a save right in here, I'm gonna be so mad, but also happy. <laughs> it's a sketchbook. His dad has a big ass head. Old bullet head ass motherfucker. Do, 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 do. That sound again. Okay, so. like a deadbeat. It must be Walter's dad. Bitch, I told you I ain't no damn kid. I ain't shit, man. I was gonna be shit. I'm just another dumbass fucking when I shouldn't be fucking. Don't too much of a dumbass to realize. Take responsibility, man. You a grown ass man. Okay, I oh, he tried to just dive at me, man. This dude on some other shit. Bro, just fall, dog. Let the pain slowly envelop your body as I stump into your spine, destroying your soulless husk of a form. Who are you? Whoa, hello. Bro just straight ran up. Oh, hello. Y'all want me y'all don't want me to start busting off. Don't make me start busting off in this hole. Invisibility frames! Uh-huh. Okay. Try me, dog. Try some fuck shit. I got the frames, dog. I got the frames! Ugh. I love invincibility frames, dog. That's why I'm mad they nerfed Vegeta's get kick. So what, they really just had a baby in an apartment and it just dipped out? Like, alright, just... And shame on the mother for going along with the bullshit. But that's how bitches be, though, bro. Ain't he gonna lie. But that's how niggas be, too. Can't just blame a woman. You got the deadbeat daddy alongside her. But it's, I feel like it's, in a way, it's even more fucked up because that dude came out of you. <laughs> but then you, for you to be like, fuck him? Damn. That's cold, G. I don't even know what to say about that shit. You foul for that one. Ain't no getting around that shit. If you just straight up foul. Come on. Alright. We'll handle it later. Oh, it's a ghost. Uh -huh. 
it's a dead cat wrapped in a pair of jeans. Okay, that's great. Ben fucking test. The fuck is his issue? What the f You ready to rumble? Yeah. I gave you every chance in the world to bust back, but you didn't. You bitched out. Gave him a gave him an extra axe slash for his troubles. Let's sip some of that lean. Let's go. Little cry baby. It's your son, G. No, I guess the gun is still fake. I hope there's some point to all this. I guess I'm just getting to know his dad. <laughs> Damn, he got like he running from the cops. Yeah, so it seems like this part is just letting you know this is just showing you his dad abandoning him okay well I guess that's it well hopefully I can just get the fuck out yeah, that, that just wanted me to see that. Eileen? Uh oh, this fucking music. It's terrible. That poor little boy. That poor little boy cut your ass up and had you in the hospital. Now he wanna gut you. So. His parents just threw him away right after he was born. I know, we about to kill him. Finish the job. Poor thing. He really thinks that room 302 is his mother. I've gotta... I've gotta help him. Yeah, we're gonna help him. You want the revolver or the, or the axe? Go through here now. Fuck. Okay, but what changed? That would have been so convenient. Ugh. Well, I'm assuming they don't want me to go back where I just came from. Oh, it's gone. Well, that's convenient. 
maybe looking at like looking at the spirit of his dad unlock the various chains on the door that's what I'm assuming you know they always got some type of spiritual shit going on I think I'm out of room too what's this he's looking at something else what is he looking at he's looking at something I needed room. <laughs> so I had to kind of waste that one. Well, this is it. This is the thing. I bet that shit stank. I told you. <laughs> Almost killed the boy. That shit stomp. Are you okay? It's Walter. He's crying. I'm crying over this stinking ass Did flesh. Sacraments? It won't help that boy. Obviously. I'm going back, Henry. To the room where he is. Okay. Well, that's a load off. I ain't got to deal with her ass no more. She all of a sudden found God or something. <sighs> I just hope I can save before I got to fight. <laughs> that's just... Walter Sullivan's umbilical cord. The superintendent has kept it for years. Whatever the case, I just want to save. But I think I'm getting close to the end now, though. I think this is about it. Because once you get the umbilical cord, that's... Oh, he was looking at the umbilical cord <laughs> through the wall. I just hope that gate is open. What is he looking at? This woman, is this Aileen? I'm gonna tell you one thing about me. I'm a lazy motherfucker, so I gotta know. Did y'all unlock that gate for me? <laughs> I know you did. They didn't. Y'all fucking crazy, bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all people? Y'all ever played a fucking video game, bro? That's what you do. You unlock the gate, so you just go where the fuck you need to go. No bullshit. But they want the bullshit. Maybe it's something they want me to see. Maybe they want me to get fucking shot. It ain't happening. Well, fucking kill. It ain't happening. I'm bad. I'm blasting. I'm busting, bro. Okay. 
It's on sight, dog. Oh shit. Is Walter still in here? Oh shit. Whoa. Now why would I fight you idiots? I'm almost there, I just gotta go! They are really assholes for not opening that damn gate. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it real, dog. That was just straight up assholery. Just open the fucking gate. Like, this shit don't matter. I'm not scared. <laughs> like, come on, this shit don't fucking matter, y'all. Like, just let me go. Let me do my damn job, please. Yeah, like, look at these dudes. I don't give a fuck. Do I look like I give a fuck? Never gave a fuck, never gave a shit. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Aline seems to be in good condition, but I worry about the hauntings. Did I get all of them? I don't know. At least with Aline, you can kind of tell, right? So I'm assuming this is boss time. <laughs> That's a, I'm assuming this here is is boss time. So I'm gonna just get equipped for that with, with that in mind that this is this is boss time. Oh, I forgot. You got a fucking oh, and that doll too. I'm not even sure I should drop the doll. Cause that's technically a haunting. I might be dropping a haunting into the damn thing. That's why I don't want to do that. Um, but I know restores fair, a fairly large amount of health, continues to restore health for a time. Gotta have that. Okay. I really should just bring all magnum ammo, right? I mean, revolver ammo. Instead of fucking around with the pistol. Right? And then just have... Just have... Um, another one of these. <laughs> oh, man. Resource management. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, fuck it. Might as well use the last one, huh? We call it resource management. No more huntings, right? We good? We good in the hunting department? Okay. I'm surprised there wasn't one in the bathroom, though. But I guess they just decided not to be assholes. I thank you. Oh, he's gone. My umbilical cord power. Oh. Oh. In the depression, wait a minute, this is no normal depression. When I stare into it, I feel like I could be sucked in. It's like it's connected to some other dimension. Or maybe it's like a hole that once you enter, you can never leave. Yeah, let's go in. <laughs> so here's the thing about the final boss and why Aileen's condition matters so much. So it's like you have a limited amount of time to defeat the boss. And while you're trying to fight the boss, Aileen's going to be walking into like this 
this water or something that's gonna kill her. And the worse her condition is, the faster she walks into the, the water. So past a certain point, it's pretty much impossible to defeat him in time without her killing herself, basically. So the worse her condition is, the faster she'll eventually walk into her own death. And so if it's past a certain point, you just have no hope of beating him before the time. So I might have to, even though she's in fairly good condition, I might have to still retry this a couple times because um, because it's still pretty much a time limit. Even though she's in good condition, I'm still on a timer. It's just that when she's really hurt, you have no hope. <laughs> no hope of doing it in time. Okay, do I jump in? Yeah. Ah, we're home. It's time, Walter. It's face off time. Look at her, she's so beautiful. The final battle. I forgot where I used the umbilical cord though. Hey there, little Walter. Just a little longer now. <laughs> I ain't the last nothing, bitch. You about to get it. Okay, so I gotta remember how I do this. Yeah, I think you put the umbilical cord in there first. Okay. Spear with the Holy Mother carved into it. The Crimson Tome says that I have to stick the eight of these spears into Walter's body. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I should probably get the ones at the farthest, right? The, the ones farthest back, right? Can I just shoot this dude? Oh, fuck. No, I can't. Wait a minute, what if I grab two? Put another one in there. Okay, hold up. Okay. Okay, another one, another one. 
Come on, shit, do it. Okay. Oh, now the control is gonna go crazy. I might as well grab this one now. No! Fuck you, man. Okay. All right, now it's a fight. Yeah. It's just a, a Mexican standoff. <laughs> Too damn strong. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, please. Come on. Just work him down. Work him down. Maybe I should have brought the damn pistol. He took all those magnum rounds? Fuck. Come on, just a little bit longer. Come on. Fuck. Yes. I think that's it. <sighs> <laughs> oh man that's pretty okay for a survival horror game boss battle I give them that not too straightforward you know I just hope everybody knew to put the um, umbilical cord <laughs> On the true body. Oh, God. I want my good ending, please. Wait, I'm dead. I don't know, this looks pretty good. Sunshine, daylight, me. been through the struggle I've been through it all I'm never going back to the apartment ever again you can bet on that The day after. Ah! 
Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was all worth it. Thanks. <laughs> now we fuck. Guess we'll have to find a new place to live, huh? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I went through all that shit <laughs> for, uh, for that. But you know what? Fuck it. We're both alive. We're both healthy. He'll probably fuck her. I'm just going to assume in my head, Cannon, that he beats dick that bitch for all my efforts. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the Silent Hill for the room playthrough i gotta say man playing it again i have a whole new appreciation for this game it's a good game when you don't want the good <laughs> uh but really it's this game um even the even the backtrack even back even going to be like going through the, the very dips, even going back through the, through the levels that you've already been to it's really not that bad because I feel like going back to it is a different enough experience from the first time going through it that it still feels kind of worth it, you know? It, it, it's not like, oh man, I'm just replaying the same stage I done been through. <laughs> Between having I lean with you more items being around, having to worry about the hauntings at home and not being able to just heal up by going home, different enemies, Walter showing up here and there. I feel like even that part, which is really, from what I've seen, one of the biggest criticisms of this game, it's the second half where you're escorting Eileen through the levels you've already been through, right? Honestly, that part, other than wanting the good ending, wasn't that bad. Because it still just felt it felt just different enough. It was the same level but with a different spin. So even that wasn't that bad. And then on top of that, at that point in the game, they start really revealing more and more about Walter and what's actually going on. So you're going through the same levels but you're still learning more about the story. You're still learning more about what's going on around you. But, overall, I, I'd probably give this game like a seven. <laughs> I'd give it a seven. It's not, not great, but I'd say overall, it is a good survival horror game. I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad I took the time to replay it because I have really now I have a whole new appreciation for it like I remember thinking the game was okay but now I can honestly say like yo this is Silent Hill 4 was actually a good game <laughs> between between the actual gameplay parts of you know the um, actually being in the other world and whatnot oh, hold up oh what's that one two three I found all the memo items. Ending, escape. That's the good ending, right? <laughs> Continues, one. Wow. Did I win something? Oh, hold up. Let me take this to number one. A brand new fear. Okay. Oh shit. Hold up. What does this brand new fear shit mean though? Let me just check this out real quick just to see if there's anything going on. Just really quick. Um, but yeah, man. I'm glad I took the time to, to go back and play this. Because now I have a, a whole new appreciation for it. And it's kind of funny because this is the Silent Hill that people kind of, that was, 
this is the divisive Silent Hill. This is the one that people were kind of like, eh. But really, between... I mean, I just like how you have, on one hand, the the parts where you're in your apartment and it's slowly becoming haunted and you're trying to figure out why am I stuck in here? And then just little things like looking through the peephole and seeing people trying to figure out what's going on in there or looking through the hole in the wall and seeing Eileen and spying on her. and Or like one of my favorite touches in this game was where um, when Cynthia dies, and then you look out the window and you see the ambulance outside. Like that that little touch right there. Oh yeah, and even seeing her go into the subway like right here. Like it, like little touches like that just make this such an interesting game, you know? And then on top of that, of course you have you have the actual gameplay parts where it's in um, third person view and you're doing the typical Silent Hill shit, beating monsters to death with pipes and stumping them and whatnot. And trying to solve puzzles and figure out how to progress and gathering resources and whatnot. So, man, yeah, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I am glad I took the time to play. <laughs> I'm about to say Resident Evil Silent Hill for the room. Like this game is is certified for me now. This is this is certified. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will return later with more uh video game playthroughs so see you guys